Hello Inders TV viewers and listeners. Today we have a special situation in our hands. We are talking about Kavrian's public tender offer that we received today and we are gonna talk about Kavrian's Q3 result also. Firstly, I let uh, the speakers introduce themselves. You can start. Maybe I start. I'm yeah. Halva Horton. I'm a managing director in Bain Capital, uh, where I do a couple of things. So I, uh, I'm part of our industrial team and I lead uh, our activities in the Nordic region. I'm a Norwegian, as you might tell. My name is Mats Paulsson. I'm chairman of the board of Kaverian. My name is uh, Jarp Gutsch. I'm president and CEO of Kaverian. Okay, thank you. Maybe we start with the public tender offer. And uh, your consortium made a public tender offer at seven euro share price today in the morning. Uh, can you tell about the uh, public tender offer and maybe your reason reasoning behind it? Yes. Um, so. We've followed Kaverian for many years, all since our days of being a, an investor in Bravida. I think we we have seen the the good work that uh, led by Mats and Jacob of of developing the business in a positive direction. Um, but we still see a, a significant uh, gap to uh, best in class performance of some of the peers, and we think. A uh, closing that gap and taking the next step and getting to the full potential of um, of the company uh, w can be better done in a private setting where the company gets the opportunity to really focus on that transformation um, and get away from uh, the quarterly public focus um, to really sort of devote itself um, into into closing that gap and take the next step, right? We see a significant opportunity for us as a consortium to invest a lot of time and resources into that transformation to support the management team in accelerating growth organically and inorganically and uh, expanding profitability uh, to close the gap to peers. Um, and that's, uh, that's the background for the offer. Okay, thank you. Maybe we can hear next from Mats Paulson. Can you comment on, on Gavarian's view and Gavarian's board view on the public tender offer? Uh, we we have been working with a tender offer now during quite a long time, weeks. And we have evaluated our strategy. We have evaluated all, all uncertainties around us. Uh, and uh, of course also that the offer is, is, is uh, with a high high uh, multiple compared to uh, how the, the, the share is trading today. And we have also used the Bank of America as, as a partner here to, to give the fairness opinion. And, and we have made the conclusion that this is a, is a fair bid. <coughs> Thank you. And uh, lastly, we can talk about the Q2 result with Jakob. Um, can you kind of summarize the Q3 results for the viewers in a nutshell? Yes. Uh, Happy to do that. If you look at the Q3, we have continued uh, our growth path. We had 14.3% growth and 11.8% organic growth. And as we also alluded to earlier is that uh, we believe one third of that comes from increases, material prices, etc. So still a strong underlying uh, growth. We also improved our operating result so we uh, improved with 25% in nominal terms and improved our operating margin to 4.8% versus 4.4% last year. And we also were happy to welcome 700 new colleagues. So we are now more than 15,000 employees. As you know, this is our asset, our people, that is every day on the site, on the construction site, installing servicing for our customers and then last but not least it's always good when you do something that you also get paid for what we do and there we could also report a significant improvement in our cash flow uh, in uh, q3 mm. Yeah, your profitability was, was growing from last year and also the revenue was growing and also as in organic, in organic side, it was quite nice, 12% increase there. Um, can you comment on the on the market uh, kind of demand and the market environment at the moment? It's, it's clear that there's uncertainties, but uh, what do you see now in the future? Yeah, we have described in our Q3 uh, report a lot of the uncertainty that we are doing every quarter. 
we have shown that we have been able to grow our order backlog to say anything about the future in this environment with mounting inflation, interest, uh, uncertainty, a war in Ukraine. That's really difficult for me. I think a lot of smart people has tried to predict what will happen. And uh, I just look at the market and I look at what we are operating in every day and what we are doing in Cavern, we are trying to every day mitigate with our procurement and our good operators out there to reflect what we offer to the customer in our prices. And that's what we do because speculating about the future, you know, that's not our business. We look at our order backlog, how we do business, uh, but for sure, as, as had also been said earlier today, is that there's a lot of uncertainty around us. But my job is to focus on how do we do our daily work, how do we service our customers, and then uh, we hope that happy customers also buy more from us and that we have demonstrated in Q3. Yeah, the direction has been, has been uh, going in the right direction. Yeah. Uh, I would th- like to thank you everyone for answering the questions and I wish you... Um, Happy, happy uh, rest of the year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.